Jacques Marquette. Father Jacques Marquette S.J., June 1, 1637, May 18, 1675, sometimes known as Père Marquette or James Marquette, was a French-American Jesuit missionary who founded Michigan's first European settlement, Sault Ste. Marie, and later founded St. Ignace, Michigan. In 1673, Father Marquette and Louis Joliet were the first Europeans to explore and map the northern portion of the Mississippi River Valley. Biography Jacques Marquette was born in Laon, France, on June 1, 1637. He came of an ancient family distinguished for its civic and military services. Marquette joined the Society of Jesus at age 17. He studied and taught in France for several years. The Jesuits assigned him to New France in 1666 as a missionary to the indigenous peoples of the Americas. Arriving at Quebec he was at once assigned to Trois-Rivières on the St. Lawrence, where he assisted Gabriel Druyette and, as preliminary to further work, devoted himself to the study of the local languages, and became fluent in six different dialects. In 1668 Father Marquette was moved by his superiors to missions farther up the St. Lawrence River in the western Great Lakes region. That year he helped Gabriel Drew yet found the mission at Sault Ste. Marie in present-day Michigan. Other missions were founded at St. Ignace in 1671, St. Ignace Mission, and at Law Point, on Lake Superior near the city of Ashland, Wisconsin. At Law Point he encountered members of the Illinois tribes, who told him about the important trading route of the Mississippi River. They invited him to teach their people, whose settlements were mostly farther south. Because of wars between the Hurons at La Point and the neighboring Lakota people, Father Marquette left the mission and went to the Straits of Mackinac, he informed his superiors about the rumored river and requested permission to explore it. Leave was granted, and in 1673 Marquette joined the expedition of Louis Joyer, a French-Canadian explorer. They departed from St. Ignace on May 17, with two canoes and five the voyageurs of French Indian ancestry. Mateys. They followed Lake Michigan to Green Bay and up the Fox River, nearly to its headwaters. From there, they were told to portage their canoes a distance of slightly less than two miles through Martian Oak Plains to the Wisconsin River. Many years later, at that point the town of Portage, Wisconsin was built, named for the ancient path between the two rivers. From the portage, they ventured forth, and on June 17 they entered the Mississippi near present-day Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. The Joliet Marquette expedition traveled to within 435 miles, 700 kilometers, of the Gulf of Mexico but turned back at the mouth of the Arkansas River. By this point they had encountered several natives carrying European trinkets, and they feared an encounter with explorers or colonists from Spain. They followed the Mississippi back to the mouth of the Illinois River, which they learned from local natives provided a shorter route back to the Great Lakes. They reached Lake Michigan near the site of modern-day Chicago by way of the Chicago Portage. In September Marquette stopped at the mission of St. Francis Xavier, located in present-day Green Bay, Wisconsin, while Joliet returned to Quebec to relay the news of their discoveries. Marquette and his party returned to the Illinois Territory in late 1674, becoming the first Europeans to winter in what would become the city of Chicago. As welcomed guests of the Illinois Confederation, the explorers were feasted on route and fed ceremonial foods such as sagami tea. In the spring of 1675, Marquette traveled westward and celebrated a public mass at the Grand Village of the Illinois near Starved Rock. A bout of dysentery which he had contracted during the Mississippi expedition sapped his health. On the return trip to St. Ignace, he died at age 37 near the modern town of Ludington, Michigan. A Michigan historical marker at this location reads, the Ojibwe Museum on State Street in downtown St. Ignace is in a building that was constructed adjacent to Marquette's gravesite during urban development. Legacy and Honors Gallery